Hey beloved, this is Krista Pettiford. Welcome back to my channel. I have a word for you from the Lord this morning. I think it's a teaching and I hope it resonates with you because it does for me. But before I get into this word, I'd like to ask you to subscribe to my channel, like this video and share it if you uh, enjoy the message and if it blesses you. Divine exit strategy. A couple of months ago, can't remember when it was, but God gave me a word and I shared it here on the uh, channel that it would be elevate or exit. And so today I want to talk to you about divine exit strategies because the Lord gives us exit strategies when he tells us to, if he doesn't elevate us in a situation. So it's a season of transition and many are looking at things as I just said in the last video I did and I'll try and link that one but I shared how we're not supposed to lose and so when we're not supposed to lose and things don't turn out the way that we want them to then what is God saying he's saying that it's time to exit uh, sometimes for many people it's uh, time to remain in that place where God put you at because there's a purpose in you staying but many people God is pushing and prodding you to exit and he has a strategy for you just like he had for Jacob just like he had for the children of Israel when it was time to go and Jacob could not take any more of Laban his father-in-law's um troubling him, changing his wages, lying about things and trying to keep his um, his talent, but not promote his talent, trying to keep him in a position to do the work because the blessing of God and the skill that he had, but did not want to pay him his worth and make it worth his while. Then it was time to go and God began to give Jacob dreams and visions and give him uh, an excellent strategy so that he could leave with great wealth. Nothing that Laban gave him did he need to take. They did. There was the sheep that he worked for, um, the herds that he worked for that the Lord began to make his sheep spotted and speckled because Laban had said that he could have everything that was spotted and speckled because he felt like it was sick and it was hurting and all of those different things. So he began to say that he could have those uh, sheep and God blessed the the um, herds or the, the sheep, the cattle, no that's cows, but he began to bless them and as they gave birth and he gave, he gave him a strategy, he gave Jacob a strategy to tie certain, um, what are they, sticks together and put it in the water when they drank, when they went to mate and when he did that, the, the, the spotted and the speckled, they came out spotted and speckled and Jacob herds became sheep became more than Laban's and then he told him when to leave and how to leave and he was even going to face his brother Esau when he was going back that way and so God told him to go forth and then he changed his name he wrestled with God on his way out after he had exited after Laban came after him to try not to let him leave because he had because Rachel had the household gods and he also didn't tell Laban that he was leaving see that strategy God gave him strategy not to say anything until it was time to go so he left right and then after he left the place where he was at and Laban confronted him and God dealt with Laban and said don't you touch him so he couldn't touch Jacob then the next strategy was he wrestled with God and he gave him divine strategy about how to face his brother and his brother in thinking that he was going to go back where they had both once lived together but Jacob now Israel went a different direction in the direction that God would take him and the 12, and the 12 tribes of Israel, his children. So 
God gave him an exit strategy. So what am I saying? I'm saying if God has not elevated you, now we talked about this in the other video, which I will link. Joseph was elevated after a long period of being um, burdened, of being um, captive for things he didn't do, of being mistreated. But God brought him to a place of elevation. But beloved, you have not failed and God has not failed you. And you still have the victory. If God doesn't do it where you're at, then pray and ask him for a divine exit strategy. Maybe he's put your back up against the wall so that you could begin to ask him for something new ask him for something different and and fear not as he takes you out so for you shall be led forth with peace you shall go out with joy and the lord your god will go before you and will make a way for you and um your peace will go with you the peace of God that you have, the blessing of God that you have will go with you and you can shake the dust off your feet. And that doesn't mean that wherever you have to leave and exit from will not have the blessing that God doesn't care for the people or the place or the position that you're leaving. But it means that don't be afraid that he's not going to bless you. God is too good of a God. He's been too good to you and to me already to leave us destitute and hopeless. He has a plan for you. And sometimes we think of the plan as what we wanted it to be. But God has a divine exit strategy for you to get you to the place he has for you to bring you into new things and new beginnings. So hear the word of the Lord here speaking to you not this word but hear what God would tell you if you feel like you are stuck in a place and you can't get out and you thought you would be going up but you're been boxed in somebody has limited and labeled you let me tell you what a limit is a limit says you can't go any further or higher so people put limits on you boundaries and then they um, a label is something that tries to define you uh, and, and say that you can only be this, that you can't be what God has called you to be. They say this is all you can be and this is all you can do. But God has more for you than that within what people say. And it's not up to people. It's up to you and God. So I pray, beloved, that if somebody, if you're in a place where you have been bound to the limits and labels of man, whether it's in your job or in a relationship or in a, a ministry or something that you that that is confining you that God would give you an exit strategy and I'm not telling you to leave your job or a relationship or a church where God has planted you and where you belong but what I am saying is for those of you who know that it's time to go from any situation do not be afraid to go forth do not be afraid do not faint in the day of adversity. God's got you and he will strengthen you and he will give you the wisdom and the divine strategies to exit. And what's before you is better than what's behind you. I know it doesn't look like that, but if you don't go out in haste, if you wait for God to give you a divine strategy, if you pray about it and your heart is in the right place and you've done everything that you can do as much as possible as is within you and the people around you still are limiting and labeling you and it's not from God, then ask him, is it time to exit? Sometime God has us in a hard place like he had Joseph in a hard place but it was for purpose right it's for purpose and you can tell that purpose because it comes to fruition and sometimes like with um, Jacob he'll put you in that hard place and he'll say take another lap he did seven years and he thought it was time to go and he did seven more years and then it was time to go because there was nothing more there for him in the purpose and plan of God for his life 
even though he went there to find his wife. It had served his purpose. He had the children. He had the wives. He had what he needed. He took on another wife, but God used all of those children to form the 12 tribes of Israel. But it was time to go. So listen for the voice of God. Listen for how you're supposed to go. Don't get in your feelings and emotions because sometimes it's easy to do when you feel rejected. But sometimes it's not God's timing for you. So we have to wait on God and allow him to position us and give us the plan. But the first thing you have to do is ask. Ask God for the exit strategy that he has for you and let him speak to you and he may not show you everything he may show you to do one thing and then once you do that thing he'll show you what to do next that's what happened with jacob and that's what god can do for you so i hope this blessed you if you're in a place and you don't know what to do or what next don't be afraid god's got you ask him and he will reveal the next portion of his plan to you. God bless you. Until next time.